Hello again, um, and here we have yet another Max 2008 tutorial. Um, this time we're going to show how to do accessories and hats going from Max into Modders Workshop and then onto the set. Uh, very simple files, very quick demo, just to get you up and running. Um, load up my demo file and you'll see the familiar character with two fantastic bits of accessorizing. A lovely box hat and a lovely box bracelet. Very simple simple box skinned just to the forearm and that one is skinned just to the head and both of them are sharing a texture because I can't bother to set up multiple ones make sure it's assigned otherwise the cal exporter could lose it once again cal format four different parts to it cal skeleton mesh material and animations for accessories and hats we only need the mesh and the material the skeleton will be referring to the core skeletons, either male or female. So yes, so it's, it's just the mesh and the materials. Materials are set up, making sure they pay attention to the bracket naming system. They're both on just material ID 1, so it's, there's only the one to deal with. Um, make sure it's assigned before we export, and then we go to export cal material file and we need to put it in the folder that we have already set up which is in movie storm add on same one as the costume export demo data puppets mail01 and then we will start with the accessory um, the folder structure as before I just copy it from uh, any other folder make sure you get the names right with plurals and the O1s and what have you in places I've cleverly made a mistake there um, I, while I created the accessory folder I put the texture straight in that will work but we want to keep things tidy so we will put in a box bracelet folder and then move that texture folder into there textures just has the DDS file that I'm using to texture it up. Um, and similarly, I have created a hats folder, which we shall use in a minute, and forgotten to put in box hat. Put that in there. And go back to Max, where we can now see in the accessories box bracelet. That's the folder to save in. So we hit save. Remind Cal that it's that one we want. Yes, it's the one white texture on it, and we're done. So that's the accessory texture exported. You don't have to have anything selected. Sorry for those having those selected, if that's confusing. We might as well export that material out to the hat file as well, because it needs to be in there too. So let's go up a couple of folders, into box hat, and save that. They're sharing the same texture, it doesn't matter, they can call it whatever you want in Max or in MovieStorm even. Um, all that matters is that the correct ID is applied so that Cal can maintain that information. Right, so that's the material exported for both of them. We now want to export the meshes. Um, as I've said before, the Cal format is very yeah, temperamental. After you export a mesh, it can go wrong. It can corrupt the file, so never ever save after exporting a mesh. And start by exporting the hat. And go to File Export Cal Mesh File Box Hat first, and it'll ask us which skeleton we want to put the mesh to. It's the male skeleton again in the um, Add-on Core Data Puppets Male 01 folder. If it was female, it would be Puppets Female 01. So we hit next for that. Because this is a very simple object, it's just skin to the head, so it only needs one bone per vertex. If it was being influenced by parts of the face, you would obviously put it up to two, three, or four. Just one for now. We skip the LOD and the spring system, and that's that hat done. Um, hopefully it won't crash before we do the next one, where we will export the bracelet. So back to the accessories folder, box bracelet, call it box bracelet to keep it simple again using the male skeleton it's only rigged to the forearm so it doesn't need any other bones for vertex and that's that exported all done um, so now set models workshop going 
shut down Max and wait a few minutes right and so here we are back in Mods Workshop and um, yes setting up the bracelet and the hat so uh, male puppet into the body parts and we'll start with any mini mo mo let's go with the bracelet so new body part box bracelet and it creates an empty body part and we start with an accessory now the complicated bit of finding it in amongst everything luckily it's right at the start so there we have the box bracelet with no textures yet add a material and there we go uh, click on that to set up whether it's tintable and all that sort of thing you can have user images all of the options for transparencies and things as you hopefully already know about um, play with those use them as you've set up your textures and things it's all yeah, all yours there um, and that's it, that's all we need for that as I say, check it's an accessory give it its name material and that and mesh assigned set up the add-on that we're saving it into which I think there's a chance that this might be automated but always check it and then hit save and that will create the little thumbnail pick a nice view for it, zoom in and out hard to make just a basic box look good but there we go, that's our box bracelet done and so we will now do another one um, you don't actually have to um, go all the way back up and do a, a new body part if you're feeling brave and you're doing lots and lots of things like we often are you can simply change the name box hat add the mesh which was in the hats folder do 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 to scroll through hats box hat we notice that's added both meshes we obviously want to remove that one and it's using the same material which is not actually what we want we want that one so remove that one click on tintable mess around with this if you want whether it's cast shadows is two-sided etc etc and that's almost the hat set up the one thing that you do need to be careful of with hats and the reason why I've covered hats here is a hat can be an accessory if you want it to just simply be shoved on top of the hair it needs to be an accessory however if you want it to replace the hair like most of the normal hats are in MovieStorm you want to click it as hair not accessory so for this one we will have it as hair stroke hat um, so checking box hat hair mesh is there textures there hit save again make a nice screenshot and we're done all that is left is to log in through the publisher login which I will do in a second um, obviously you don't want to see our passwords and then um, hit the publish button so once you've done that I'll meet you in MovieStorm itself and we'll have a quick look at our wonderful box hat and bracelet and here we are in MovieStorm so fingers crossed where did we put it? we put it in hats didn't we? scroll through and there we go a lovely 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 box hat doesn't he look great? Um, and then into the accessories then and there we have his boxy bracelet what a star there you go that's how simple it is to put in hats and 